we're going to talk about move-ins to shared accommodation and you'll be hopefully back to wanting to move people into your um, house housing um, and you may be concerned about keeping people safe and other people that are in the housing may be concerned about how you're making sure that you keep them safe too so here's some information about the things that you'll need to do under level two to achieve that um, so the first thing again is a pre-assessment would be really useful so before someone does move and begins to move into the house maybe a couple of days before you check in with them over the phone and ask them um, are they well um, and you're looking particularly for any new new symptoms um, you know cough fever shortness of breath or throat um, runny nose um, generally feeling unwell um, and if people do say that that is how they feel then you need to postpone um, the process of moving in and they need to organize to get tested for COVID so if they can call Healthline or their GP um, and they will be able to get a test done. That test will take about 24 hours 48 hours to come back and depending on whether it's positive or negative then you can um, decide from there. You can get some advice as well from the people who give you the test results about what to do next they should be able to help you and make a plan as well um, but say it's negative then you can begin to move people in the other question um, that you can ask people is whether they've been in contact with anybody um, that's either suspected or confirmed to have COVID within the last 14 days and again if the answer is no then you probably will need to postpone the move in um, and get some advice from um, get the person to get some advice from Healthline um, and decide if they don't have any symptoms they may or may not be tested because um, I don't tend to test people that don't have symptoms, but get some advice on that. So providing um, everything's fine and the answers to those questions are no, then um, it would be good to repeat that um, questions again on the day of the move in and just to make sure that everybody in the household um, that is moving in is, is well on the day of the move in as well. Um, then once people arrive, you can do your usual um, assessments, but you need to provide them with information about COVID um, and you need to provide people with information about how um, you've um, established your work, health and safety work protocols um, within your facility. So um, it might be information about signs and symptoms um, and what they need to do if they feel unwell. And that includes uh, either call Healthline or the GP um, or it includes um, you know, reporting that to you as well, because you want to know as quickly as possible because um, the whole purpose of alert level two is to um, identify symptoms quickly and then put in contact tracing as quickly as possible. So um, you provide that information in, it's available in lots of different written languages, um, there's even sign language um, and there's also some um, videos that you can show people as well about um, symptoms of COVID. Then you'll make sure within your facility that um, people understand they have to practice good hand hygiene, regular hand washing, um, physical distancing, um, and also they need to report and record who they've been in contact with. So people who visited them, depending on what your policies are around visitors to the facility itself, um, but um, who they've met with when they've been out and about in the community and friends and family, anyone they've been in close contact with, they need to keep records of that too. Um, and you will need to keep records of um, whoever's there within your facility or visitors or contractors. Um, and then hopefully that will keep everybody as safe as possible. You may also want to provide visitors that come um, to your facility information too. Um, and that includes asking them not to come to visit anybody if they are unwell um, and you know again they will need to provide you with contact details in the case that there is um, COVID appears um, so that everybody could quickly swing into action get the contact tracing done and everybody can make things as safe as possible. 